Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Sally Turner, joined here today with George Rush and Joanna Malloy, authors of Scandal Um Manual. Okay guys, you both had a hugely successful column for over 15 years, so with all the content you were able to push out in that time, why was there a need and a want to do this book? Well, Sally, I think we had a unique viewpoint of a lot of uh, different events in the way celebrities of all kinds, from Hollywood to Washington, were covered. And we kind of witnessed the end of the you know, Winchell era and the dawn of Twitter. And uh, so we just had so many good stories that we had to unburden ourselves. <laughs> and you did expose, expose sorry, some of the biggest A-listers and politicians, but if you had to pick the most scandalous story, which one would that be? Joanna, I can see you've got a twinkle in your eye if you want to talk. <laughs> Um, well, I think Woody Allen was uh, pretty scandalous, and um, I don't know. It's, she broke it's, it's that. Just, there's just so many. Um, I th what do you think, George? Um, you know, it, it. I find more and more it depends what turns you on. You know, for you know, some people it would be in the financial world it would be like Richard Parsons' love child or Rupert Murdoch's divorce. Um, Probably the one that still amuses me the most is when we found out that um, Jerry Seinfeld was having this affair with a woman who was married to another man, and uh, she, she got on the her, this is Jessica Sklar, as she was known then. Uh, she got on the phone with her husband, Eric Niederlander, the theater heir, uh, assuring me that she and Jerry were just workout buddies and nothing was going on, and within a year they were engaged. So uh, the just flagrancy of the, of the deception there mm -hmm. still tickles me. When you are talking about affairs and personal relationships, do you ever kind of second guess yourself and perhaps lose some sleep thinking, you know, am I doing the right thing here? I am gonna break up a marriage or destroy someone's relationship? I feel guilty, mm -hmm. I admit to that. I don't think George does it. Yeah, I know he's got, he's just a bit like, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Sorry. It's not personal, it's the job. Yeah. And speaking of that celebrity confrontation and encounter, what's kind of the worst one you've been through where you've kind of felt threatened? Threatened? I don't think you, you, you look very scary. I don't think you could feel threatened. <laughs> Let's see, where do we start? <laughs> just going to win. Uh, what? Oh, whispers. Which one? They're oh. gossip columnists. Hello. <laughs> That was, a, but that was that was a bribe. Oh, oh, oh. oh tell me about An the bribe. Where are we? Oh, we'll get to the bribe. bribery. Oh, bribery! <laughs> tell me. Well, I mean, there was th threats. Um, uh, we, you know, Gabriel Byrne uh, wrapped his hands around my throat, and, uh, but playfully. That was more of a. Of Can a, you be playful a, when you I grab know, someone I mean, around the neck? You know, I mean. at the time the choke <laughs> hold is administered. You you start to panic a little, and then he we talked before, and I just asked him too many questions about his relationships with Madonna and Julia Armand, and he felt I was getting personal, so he got personal, and then I mentioned it in the column, and the next time I saw him, he said, uh, "Oh, you got me in trouble with my mother." Uh, and he says, she says, "Why are you choking that poor man?" In this book, actually, that you think gossip. Gossip and whispers bring people closer together, but hearing these stories of confrontations and obviously <laughs> you guys have enemies, do you really believe that? <laughs> too well, close. Well, the subjects of the gossip, I don't think, uh, like it too much. <laughs> no. And now with Twitter, they are trying to control it more. You know, uh, like Gwyneth Paltrow's war right now with Vanity Fair, right. editor Graydon Carter, um, Twitter, is this place where, where celebrities can talk directly to their fans, broadcast about brands, and um, get more followers than watch most uh, television shows. And you do talk about social media, so do you think social media is responsible for the fact that being a gossip columnist is no longer really a profession anymore because everyone can be it? Everyone can take a photo or share a story to their followers. Do you think there is a room for your profession anymore? Well. A lot of the stories are unchecked, and mm -hmm. so if you if you really want true stories, you have to have journalists still, entertainment journalists. That's 
that's a specialty today. And um, yes, I, I think that there is still room for plenty of gossip columnists because there's even more gossip than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. So do you have any regrets from your career? Mr. You know what? You the Edith Piaf music. <laughs> 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 she's, she's asking I the tough questions. I have to ask the questions, yeah. right? Yeah, she's asking the tough questions. That's good. That's good. Um, my only regrets are stories that we did not run. <laughs> okay, what are the stories you wish you ran? The, the first one you can think of. Well, Ju uh, Julia Roberts was uh, in a <laughs> well, hot and heavy affair. Here we go and she, and uh, I had the there. scoop, and she called him up and, and said, George, please don't run it. It's so fresh, so new. I want it to grow. And then, then so he held it. You withheld it because you were she's, seduced by Julia Roberts. Exactly. <laughs> and she she's sent him woman. posies. She <laughs> sent him flowers. And then I had to read it in page six the following week. <laughs> and finally, there are gossip mags all over the stands on the news, Daily Mail. So why should people reach out and buy your book? Here's your page. Do, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it is... Uh, a collection of so many uh, brushes, sometimes harrowing, with so many different kinds of celebrities. And, uh, and also celebrities have sort of stood this test of time from you know, Bill Clinton to Bono to you know, going back to the golden age of movies.